Free and open source games on Linux. That's our topic for today. Gaming on Linux. Man, gaming on Linux has come a long way in the last four or five years. Thanks to Steam coming to Linux, Steam finally building a Linux client, I guess it was about four or five years ago, I guess, Steam first came to Linux. Before that, gaming on Linux was almost non-existent. Basically, we were limited to a very small selection of free and open source games out there, you know, community-based games for the most part, you know, just like your free and open source software and other uh, categories, or even, you know, building distros. A lot of them are small uh, one-man projects or small teams, community projects. Now that we have these AAA titles, these big proprietary closed source titles available to us because of Steam, you know, gaming on Linux is actually viable. Linux is a viable platform for gaming. But for those of us, such as myself, that are not big gamers and would prefer to stick to the free and open source solutions for gaming, just on the principle of the matter, um, I wanted to share with you a few of my favorite free and open source games on Linux today. So let's get started. And of course, no discussion of free and open source games on Linux would be complete if you didn't mention Super Tux Kart. Super Tux Kart is a very popular game on Linux. It is in pretty much every Linux distribution's repos. Um, basically, it is your standard kart racing game. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I remember how to play a little Super Tux card. I set this to the intermediate level. That may have not have been a, a good thing for me to do. I probably should have set it to the novice level. Let's see, I'm already lagging behind here. Well, we got our little boost. Hmm. And you have to avoid the bananas and stay off the little sidetrack there. Oh, I got a cupcake. Ooh, I threw the cupcake. Took care of that guy. Ooh, I got the banana. That's not good. Anyway, Super Tux Cart. Great game. Uh, let's move on to some other really unique free and open source gaming options. And another really awesome free and open source game available on Linux is the very popular T-Worlds. T-Worlds is a multiplayer uh, game. Basically, it's a, a team game. Uh, let me show you. Let me join one of the servers here. There's 12 of 16 players in this particular server. Anyway, you're on a team. You're either on the red team or the blue team. You have a gun, some kind of weapon. You also have a hook. The, the right mouse click does the hook. You have space bar to jump. Of course, the hook should actually hook you to something if you know what you're doing. I haven't played this game in a while, but but we can shoot with the left mouse. We can hook with the. We can swing with the hook and shoot. Anyway, really cool team game. Kind of fast paced. We can change weapons. Of course, I've got a hammer now. Ooh. Anyway, I'm not very good at T Worlds, but it is a very addictive, very fun game. Uh, the next game I want to discuss is The Battle for West Noth. Um, this has been around for many years, it's always been one of the most popular games on Linux as far as free and open source games. Again, it's in everybody's repos. Uh, you should have no problem finding Westnoth and Debian, Ubuntu, Arch, etc. I actually haven't played this in a long time. Let's see the tutorial here. Who would you like to play? Conrad or Lysar? Yeah, okay, we'll choose Conrad. Here I am. I'm Conrad. This is Delphador here. Alright, you will learn the basics of movement, attacking, healing, recruiting, 
Uh, victory, destroy a fierce enemy. Defeat, get yourself killed. All right, left click on Conrad. Okay, you have selected Conrad. The places he can move to are highlighted. Click a mouse button or press spacebar to continue. Move Conrad, Conrad next to Delphidor by clicking on the tile marked here. So let me click here. Okay. Good morning, Delphidor. Is it time to attack things? Um, well, anyway, very fun game, strategy-based uh, game. It's been around forever. You guys will love it. Check out the Battle for West Nile. So what are some other free and open source gaming options? Um, this article here from slant.co, I'll link to this article in the description of this video. They list about 60 or so open source games uh, starting at the top of the list. Battle for West Noth, we already discussed. Great game. You guys really should check that out. Zonotic, awesome first person shooter game. You guys remember like Doom and Quake and all that stuff. Zonotic, similar, very fast paced action. Uh, great, like Capture the Flag games and, and team based games. Really good stuff, Zonotic. Easy to install too. Uh, you download it from their site. It's already prepackaged, already has got a executable file that you just click on and the game plays. No need to worry about dependencies. Um, Open TTD. You guys like the old Sim games like Sim City and that sort of thing. Open TTD are, is, is a great uh, game. Oh well, this one is uh, based on what's the uh, Train Tycoon game or uh, I forget the name of that Tycoon game. A Super Tux Cart we've already mentioned. Zero AD. If you guys like the old Age of Empires games, or Free Civ, which is a free and open source game available on Linux. Uh, Zero AD is a fantastic game. Uh, very uh, Age of Empires-like. You can even play it against uh, other players. It is an alpha game, so it's still in development, and still lacking some functionality, but it's really good as is right now. Zero AD, AD is probably one of the best free and open source games out there. As far as like really, really good artwork, really good music, just everything about it is, is first class. Uh, Cataclysm, I don't know much about. Warzone 2100, uh, OpenRA. See, some of the ones I've played. This is really old school. NetHack. NetHack was originally released way back in 1987. It's a complex and difficult game with a user interface based heavily on sh keyboard shortcuts. Because in 1987, uh, like GUI games were, were not a thing, not on a computer anyway. T Worlds, we've already discussed. Flight Gear, of course, is Flight Simulator. Open Tyrion, I didn't discuss this. I actually did have Open Tyrion installed on my system, though. Open Tyrion is a great 2D shooter game. If you guys remember, like the old arcade 2D shooters, like Galaga and things like that, um, very similar. Uh, Simu Trans, I don't know much about, but it's been around forever. It's a popular open source game. Hedge Wars, very popular open source game. It's, it's in everybody's repos. It's a uh, Worms clone. I never played the game Worms, but it's based on that. Uh, let's see what else. Endless Sky. Mind Test. I don't know anything about. Uh, Free Civ. I mentioned Free Civ. Great game. And Super Tux. This is not Super Tux car. This is Super Tux. Basically, it's uh, the main characters, the Penguin. Uh, so, you know, free and open source games, we have options, guys. Uh, you know, if for those of you that prefer, you know, to play free and open source games based on principle, there's nothing wrong with that. I like being principled myself. Uh, I try to stick to free and open source software, free and open source solutions where possible. And those of you that prefer, you know, like the big AAA titles, you know, the big flashy whiz-bang games that are available on the Steam platform. There's nothing wrong with that. And of course, there's no reason why you can't play a little bit of both. I mean, some of these open source games, even though some of them are kind of old school, they kind of are retro. You know, they're really neat games. Some of these games like B Battle for West Noth and T-Worlds are very addictive games. Uh, I've been playing them for years. I'll probably be playing them years down the road. So guys... Check out some of these free and open source gaming solutions. Uh, many of these games are available in your repos, in the Debian repos, the Arch repos, the Gentoo repos. Uh, before I leave, I would like to uh, give a shout out, a special thanks to all my patrons, uh, my Patreon supporters. 
Ron, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Mark, Christian, Benjamin, Stephen, Marcus, Kevin, Bob, and Darkwin. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.